This is Corporal Carl Gallagher, the only man who had the courage to stand up for me when I was assaulted. Oh. Bless you, Corporal. Our Charlie couldn't have made it without you. Corporal Gallagher stood up to eight cadets when they jumped me in the showers. Uh, I'm also his national security advisor and a special advisor to the president. Technically, Scooter outranks any of Bush's people. Mary Madeline will serve as counselor to the VP and assistant to Bush. It does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, <gasps> oh my God. Oh, dear God. That looks like a second place. Vice President, we have information that plays ahead of the White House at this moment. I would often find him with his prayer book fallen on the floor, lying back in his chair, and his mouth open. But still, he kept talking about taking me and Nanny for a drive to see the old house again, where we were all born. If only we could get one of those carriages. Them with the rheumatic wheels. He had his mind set on that. He was so scrupulous always. The duties of the priesthood was too much for him. You might say his life was crossed. I'm sure, we're, we're sure. It'll be fine, I promise. We need this. We need this as a family. This is insane. Well, Danny, I know that you're a big help. Can you just shut up? So, let me know if there's anything you need. Um, toothpaste, shaving cream, whatever. Thanks. Tomorrow we'll get better acquainted. This room smells funny. I don't think it smells fun. It hasn't been opened up in some time. You might want to open the window and let the air in. It'll be okay, Miss Davis. See you in the morning. At least we could get some food. I don't want charity. If we can't find a way to feed the girls, I'll have to send them to my brother's farm. I thought you might be hungry. 